good evening. My name is Nigel Chambers. I'm from Big Go Belt Media. Now, it's a pleasure to talk to you today, and congratulations on the new film, Greatest Hits, on Hulu right now. How you doing? Good. Thanks, Nigel. Great to meet you. Yeah, and um, you know, congratulations. And um, I got to say, the moment I watched this film, first of all, I love the title. I, something about it just instantly grabbed my attention. Uh, but once I dove into the film, I was just I was just hooked. And I, you did some very interesting things within this film. It's a very interesting concept. And I want to know, did you put pen to paper first or did you kind of dive into some type of scientific theories or anything behind it? Because I had never put one and two together until after I watched the film. Um, well, initially, I'd read this book by Oliver Sacks called Musicophilia, which is about how music and the brain interact and ideas like musical hallucinations and synesthesia. So that was like one part of it. And then the other part of it is like music has always been a time travel mechanism for me, like songs throw me back in time. So those two things compounded really were the inspiration of the movie. Yeah, and, and and what was interesting to me is because music has very consistently been therapeutic for me. It's always been that escape. No matter what happens in the world, it's a car ride or just sitting somewhere isolated, music just brings me back to a good place. So to take music as a theme and sort of dive down this path of trauma and hurt and grievance here, uh, how did you ultimately land to that point of the film? And, and was it something you were very honestly open to explore, knowing, knowing that this is something, to me, is sacred? So to kind of explore, that seems kind of like, you know, what, what were sort of your, your thoughts on that path? Yeah, I mean, like you, music so has been one of my best friends. It's like a companion, you know, it just sort of keeps me company when I'm alone, uh, you know, when I need to feel up, when I need to feel down, whatever, uh, it's always there. Um and I think I had written an initial draft of the script and I, I wasn't quite ready for it. And then my I revisited during COVID and through the lens of isolation and COVID, I think when we were all kind of locked down and, and, and really collectively going through this wild experience together, um, I thought about the script in that way and Harriet really is isolated. You know, she, she is kind of closed off from the world and music is this thing that is her touchstone to the past, but it's also the thing that helps her and it reminds her to get out and experience life again. So that's, that's, that's really where the script started to, to work for me. And then at some point throughout this process, you landed on Lucy who just does a lot of, tremendous things in her performance wearing grief and survivors remorse right there on her sleeve we feel it um i felt bad i, I you know felt a little bit of my heart pouring out for her and in the character area here uh, when you had lucy on board uh how did you know that you had the right person I mean, I think when she walked in the door, it felt right. I mean, I, I, we met at a coffee shop in LA and, and she just walked in and had a, a just a, a, you know, her, whatever her vibe is, it's, it's, it's exactly what I thought Harriet would be. And then, you know, we got into this rehearsal process and she's just a very open, wonderful human being, um, aside from being an extraordinary actor, really the day that, uh, I knew, we were good and, and I knew I was right, or, or at least like we were right as a collective. Um, she did her first share in the grief group and her first take was extraordinary. And yeah. we were all like, oh, okay. Like this is <laughs> special. So um, to kind of turn this for my final question to a very positive note, is there a particular song that um, you sort of find yourself connected to um, that, that uh, brings you to a good place? Is there any particular artist as well, if it's not a particular song? You know, there's so many. Yeah, you, I, you would know that, that like, it's just a really hard question to answer, <laughs> but there are two tracks that I've been listening to this week to keep me positive. And one is Move Me Baby by Gwen McRae. And the other is a song called Give from 1980 by Harari, which is a South African kind of like disco band. Yeah. Those two songs have been keeping me up this week. So those are my go-tos right now to even like this morning before this, I was listening to Gwen McRae. So it was, it was keeping me up. Amazing. I just needed to know because I need to be able to get into the mindset so I can create some 
cool things and very impactful things such as you, Ned. And once again, you have an amazing film, The Greatest Hits, which is available on Hulu today. Thank you so much for your time today and giving me insight on the film. Of course. Thank you so much, Nazir. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.